time to make and pray and today we're going to learn how to make our very own maze and while we're doing that we're going to have a bit of a think about God helping us to choose the right direction maybe when we're a bit unsure so let's get making our maze okay so the things that we're going to need to make our maze are some plain paper a ruler a pen or pencil some glue and um, I've decided to use straws, but you could use rolled up pieces of paper or string um, or anything you might find around the house um, so you can be creative. And the first thing we need to do is mark out our maze on our piece of paper. Now, be sure to make um, some dead ends in there as well so it's not too easy. Um, and then once we've done that, we can start cutting our straws down to size to follow the lines that we've drawn to create our maze. Once they're all cut down to size, you can start gluing them down. I've just used normal PVA glue um, and that seems to have worked, worked fine. So just keep building up your maze with the straws and um, remembering just to follow the lines that you've created until they're all done. I've also marked out a start and a finish point on my maze, just so it's really clear where we're trying to get to. Um, and once I've finished it, I've also coloured in the in-between bits um, to make it look like hedges. It does make it maybe a little bit easier, um, but you could design and decorate yours however you'd like. And now once it's completed and our glue is dry, we can start playing with our maze. So as you can see, there's um, some tin foil there and um, a straw. And what I've done is I've used a straw to blow the tin foil ball around the maze. Um, but you could use a marble, you could um, do your maze on a tray and you could lift the tray up to move the ball around the ma uh, maze. There's lots of different options you could choose. I think sometimes life can feel a little bit like a maze. Maybe you don't know which direction to go or which way to turn. But the great thing is that the Bible tells us that God's always with us, that we're never alone. In Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21, it even tells us that if we don't know the direction to go, God's there helping us and telling us whether to turn right or to turn left. So I wonder, as you're playing with your maze, maybe there's something at the minute that you're not sure of. You don't know a decision to make or which way to turn. Maybe ask God for his help. Ask him to help you with that. And see what he says. I hope you enjoyed playing with your maze um, and we'll see you again soon.